just got the camera set ship again. And here is the video cable I made again. <laughs> Doesn't look much, but sure as heck works. Let's see here in a few moments here. And for a little Sony PVM monitor, that is actually really not a bad of a picture. Or of course with uh, Lumi Chroma or my account uh, slash C, it's actually pretty good. Look at that. Looks a heck of a lot better than it did yesterday. Going to give myself a pat in the back and illegal quantity error. And of course, I have stereo. It's like, oh, so it's got composite. Here's the cable right here. It's all the way to the back here. It's video, composite, and stereo output. Well, stereo, quote unquote. But look at up on the flight panel, the TV side over there. You can see what it looks like. And here's the composite connection. And of course on this LCD display here, you can see a little bit of rail bars here. But not too bad. I mean, heck, I have the noise reduction on here. I can actually see this cable is 100% functional. And I think the people that the person or people that made them uh, DIYs about this particular setup and I tried using one of these cables right here but unfortunately you add like a certain amount of length that the S video and composite would probably like fizzle out same as the audio which is really odd but on the positive side it works I'm really happy about this. So I'm going to show you my flight panel LCD computer monitor that you have downstairs that has this video. I'm going to use that showing the PVM monitor, which I'll probably you'll be using that for that. Uh, seriously, so that's what it looks like. And like I said, I'm really happy about this thing. The color is, well, actually, on the phone, it is a little bit. I'm sorry, the phone's camera it looks a little bit brighter than it does in person. Brighter than that. I'm actually really excited about this. I'm actually it's <laughs> pretty surprised that it actually works. I thought it wasn't going to work, but apparently you can always put your mind into it. And with the help of the internet such a school it is not bad at all and of course on this camera it makes the text look a little bit more readable than it does in person and of course if the autofocus could actually work so there you have it the Commodore 64 powered up completely the brand new power supply they got off of eBay which now I think you can 
Power up for Arbor BS64. I have some spare two amp fuses for this just in case we accidentally blow the two amp fuse in here, plus the one that's inside of the Arbor 64. Also, I want to thank DigiKeys and eBay, the sellers of Wisconsin, for these particular DIN connections, as well as the cables, the resistors, capacitors, all that good stuff. Putting the cabling there. Thanks for watching.